Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome, you are tuned in to Zen in the Void and I am Zen, of course. If you guys are new, welcome, okay? And if you guys are returning and you've been a subscriber, been a supporter, okay? Thank you, you already know what it is, what it will be, so let's just get right into it. All right, so as y'all can see by the title, we are doing a daily vibe today. So we just gonna see what the vibes is, you know what I'm saying? Just check, check the vibe, vibe check, okay? All right, let's see what y'all got going on. I don't necessarily have any downloads just yet, but I do have the feeling uh, intuitive, the, intuitively that a lot of you guys uh, could be doing a lot of clearing right now, clearing out your energy field, clearing out your space, your car, uh, clearing yourself from a job or from people. That's lovely. We want to keep that going, okay? Let's see what you guys got for the daily vibe. What's the vibe like today for Virgos? <clears throat> wow, okay. So we have priorities, determining your priorities, frees up time, and ooh, let me make sure this is not on, y'all. I'll be really about to mess up the audio, but you know what? I think it's good. I think you guys can hear me. Make sure I project. I just saw a triple one, so let's get into it. I'm feeling good. Okay, that is a great confirmation. Anything else on the daily vibe, Great Spirit? I saw yeah, so right when I was saying that wisdom almost slipped over and popped out, uh, I got a call, a scam likely call, and Spirit told me immediately that there is some type of force. I don't know if it's an ex-person or somebody you guys could have been recently dealing with, somebody who you guys, you know, I'm not sure. I feel like it'll pop right into your head who it is if, it, uh, if you resonate with what I'm saying. But um, there's a person around you um who could really be against you trying to clear your energy you like use your wisdom uh when it comes to them i saw 33 so i feel like you're really improving yourself virgos you're really working on your self mastery and i feel like there are certain individuals uh who are around you or who were previously around you who don't want you to use their wisdom uh your wisdom with them i feel like they want you to be stupid with them for them they maybe want you to come back to them perhaps or something like that but you got your priorities together and all you have space and time for are things that are priority to you um all you're doing is figuring out what you must do and if somebody ain't a must do then they just not getting done and they're and they're pissed about that all right we're not gonna let their energy interrupt anything just like they got ignored that's how you guys need to shut it down spirit says no contact okay no contact no contact none because these people will not change. I just saw one, two, three. Thank you, Spirit. Ooh. All right, yeah. And it feels like you guys just got a revelation because that's what popped out. Before that, nothing was really coming out besides priorities. That is like your main vibe right now, Virgo. Priorities. Uh, revelation happens when you start thinking about what is possible. So I feel like you guys know po like that it's possible now for you to leave this person alone. You're not attached anymore. You're not living in the past anymore. You're not doing the same things over and over anymore. You have a revelation that your priorities is all you have time for. And you know who the hell is a priority and who is just not. And that just is what it is. Point blank, period. All right. So beautiful. That's gorgeous. I love it. Let's see. Let's see. I see the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, Virgo. So y'all definitely y'all vibe uh, and y'all's own energy going after what it is that you want. Uh, if you're healing or revisiting anything from the past, it's only things that you feel uh, are hopeful. Uh, something that makes sense for you, okay? Or something in the past could be like lingering in the in the wings in the uh, in the back. All right, um, some of you guys are in hermit mode or whatever, but you are the queen of wands or there's a need for you to be the queen of wands. I just saw two, three, four, and that steps in the right directions. Anytime we see consecutive um, ascending numbers um, or chronological, however you want to look at that. Um, but yeah, um, let's see. Let's not break this channel. So you guys uh, are the queen of wands, whether you're in hermit mode or not. I feel like no matter if you're in your damn house or outside, you're the queen of wands. So it really doesn't matter if you're inside or out. You are in the energy that you want to be in. And that is passionate and creative. Wow, we have the ten of wands. So like I said, there is this oppressive energy around you, Virgo. I feel like there's someone who's like working overtime almost to just like get control of you yeah look i can't make it up at the bottom of the deck it's the devil card so there's someone who just um it's almost i just keep hearing trauma bonding so trauma bonding apparently at first i used to think that trauma bonding was like when two people have something in common that they are traumatic about so they hang out with each other like two bullies or two 
baseball players who got kicked out of the league. I don't know. These are just examples, <laughs> random examples. But it's like trauma bonding is more so when someone causes you trauma and they want to bond with you over that trauma. So every time they come around, it's all they want to talk about. It's all they want to do is like dig up more and then reminisce on it or like, you know, just live in the past and not grow. So the point is someone wants to keep you like... And then it's funny because obviously this looks like a phallus, like this looks kind of like a penis, right? Uh, but I'm getting that like someone may be using their penis uh, for my for my um, people who like penises. <laughs> I don't want to say for my for my women because obviously it's not just women uh, who who like male genitalia, and that's what this looks like. So someone could be trying to trap you with sex or just trap you with thoughts of the past they're just they just want to entrap you virgo they really want to ten of wands you you know what i'm saying control what it is that you do they want to block more so block your will like if you want to do something that like you you trying to get past them and they're like hey no -uh, virgo i'm right here i ain't going nowhere you know i just saw triple four so spirit says you're like completely protected know that okay know that if you don't know that know that all right could be a fire sign who wants to do this but uh the sign really doesn't matter this is just someone who's very um uh passionate about interrupting your passion virgo that's what you need to know so why is ten of wands here is there anything else that we need to clarify about this ten of wands spirit it's ten of wands okay three cards came out let me take a look at those yeah can't make it up yeah devil energy i can't i literally need you guys to see how accurate this is uh there's that devil energy around to try to entrap you right block your will your free freaking will but there's a need for you to persevere against that like you're working hard you have a strength about yourself you are not going down without a fight you are definitely a worthy opponent and they are seeing that because you're making very quick swift decisions about what you want to do it's not you don't have to think about it you're not ruminating on it you're not like rejecting them and feeling sad about it like no it looks like you're you guys are becoming very passionate about fighting fighting this person off I just saw triple five. So that's big change. Like this is new for you, Virgo. Usually I feel like you, uh, we can be kind of like, you know, uh, lingerers on things when our feelings are involved. It's not that we just linger on it because we want to. It's because we genuinely fucking care. But at this point, like I tell people all the time, if people don't believe this about Virgos for some crazy reason, but like when we're done, we're done. Uh, but I feel like it's a challenge for them. They feel like, oh, it's a challenge. Like she's trying to Mm, I know how to get back. Like, that's how they're thinking in their head. Like, I know, not even she, they, you know, anybody, men and women who watch this channel, they are thinking, literally somewhere thinking, like, I know how to, they trying to, okay, if I say I'm going to cook her some food, uh, well, cook them some food, they're, they're going to come over. I bet you if I say I'm going to bring their favorite movies and snacks and, and, and activities that they like to do, I bet they'll come. You know, that kind of shit, that kind of lame shit that you're completely done with, Virgo. You're completely done with it. And it's almost like they are oblivious or something. Like, they don't know. Yeah, death. Yeah, you, you, you've you literally transformed. It's, it's done. It's a done deal. It's done. Yeah, you've had a change of... You've literally renewed your spirit, okay? Your spirit is renewed. You have recommitted to yourself on a spiritual level. You have recommitted to your purpose and your own soul's needs, like, on a spiritual level. You have redone it. Like, when when someone does that, there is no, there is no conquering them. There is no stopping them at that point, you know? There's, you, you guys are searching for your purpose right now. Yeah, that's the daily vibe. That's what's going on, like, right now sheesh hey it's not it's not affecting you guys so that's the beautiful part yeah you guys are so protected oh my god with the four of pinnacles spirit says you guys this foundation is so secure you don't even know like you are not giving out any time to anybody who don't deserve it spirit is saying congratulations you're doing the damn thing keep going with it because this is a change that you've been needing to make for a long time and i think you know that now the lion's gate portal just opened today ancestors are here spirits are here light workers star family they're all here and they're helping us so how the fuck do people think like obviously honey their agents have the time they think that they're gonna have some type of control or attachment to you forever virgo but they are fucking sadly mistaken because you're not just by yourself you got you got your you got your ancestors you got star family you got guides you got all these different entities literally floating around you every day like helping you to move along your rebirth and, and to issue you in and initiate you into a space like this is 
this is deep or this is deeper than physical okay and that's what they're not understanding these people are kind of dense when it comes to uh these spiritual things because they're not as they're not as um well versed as you virgo and even if they are dibbling dabbling and, and looking into things and getting tarot readings done none of that shit matters dude it, it doesn't matter it just doesn't matter anymore anything else spirit let's move on Okay, let me, I'm going to put all these back. What else is going on, Virgo? Let's, I mean, <laughs> Spirit, let's give Virgo a few more messages. Resting, you guys are resting and taking care of yourself as you need to. Yeah, you guys have a lot of success with the Six of Pentacles here. You guys have regained success over your home and your personal space, your finances, your resources. You're not sharing, like you only literally... Six of Pentacles is about sharing generosity, right? It's about um, <clears throat> opening yourself up and, and sharing with a community of people. And I feel like you guys are, like I tell you guys all the time, the Six of Pentacles isn't just about those things either. It's also about um, literally improving upon your relationships. Why? That's because your relationships have a direct effect on your root chakra, your root chakra affects your relationships. So the more that you heal your root, your I am, this is who I am, okay? People can't, people can't come through and, and take anything, you know? You're improving that. The more you improve your, your sense of safety and home within yourself, it just starts to shine out to the rest of the world. So if you know that you're good and you're stable and you're, you're solid, you're discerning, okay? There is nobody who can penetrate that. So that's like the main thing. There might be somebody coming towards you with a uh, communication about something. I saw the Ace of Swords at the bottom of, I mean, the Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Sorry about that. Let's get some information on that spirit. Something I almost tried to pop out. I don't know what that was. I think it was like Three of Wands or something. But yeah, let's see what that is. This communication that's coming out for Virgo. Some type of communication lingering in the background. Nothing's coming out. So I don't know if spirit wants you guys to know. Any information about any communication coming for Virgo? Whoa. Wow. Okay. So this is like kind of fire. Yeah. The Eight of Swords kind of made itself present. Okay. Just saw 1111. So I feel like you guys have someone coming, possibly that may come towards you soon with some type of Ace of Pentacles, right? The Ace of Pentacles is a very decent opportunity that someone could offer you because it's grounded, it's stable, it's well thought out. It has the potential to grow into something uh, very prosperous, right? Uh, but I feel like uh, you guys may think that it's a trap or someone may be trying to trap you uh, by offering you something. But I don't know. There could be some type of celebration uh, over. I feel like you're celebrating ending cycles. I feel like you feel like you can tell when someone is being generous and when they're not. So it's helping you to be able to celebrate the fact that you see clearly now. Um, I'm not sure if this offer is a dud. But the way that that ace of swords presented itself to me i feel like you you're looking at it like it could be a possible trap i mean even the fact that you're looking at everything with like a logical eye you have your sword out is very important i just saw 12 12 so that's direct confirmation for spirit yeah it's funny what did i just say because the queen of freaking swords is right here yeah you're celebrating you're ending cycles with your community with your soul tribe and your family your ancestors okay in the in in the spiritual realm the portals are open and you have your sword now you can you can uh better decipher things i just saw one two three four for sure so you are watching every fucking opportunity that comes in like a fucking hawk you're not just gonna sit there and just accept like oh you want to do the egg yeah yeah hell no <laughs> with this ten of wands you're like nobody's blocking my will look if you're not doing what i'm trying to do if you're not trying to be honest and be for real like i ain't got time for this i see right through your bullshit you're talking about you're talking about uh an opportunity but every time you come through you're on bullshit every time you come through you're on bullshit but you're offering me an opportunity could be a fire sign i really think yeah or somebody were, yeah crazy yeah somebody wants to communicate it keeps ending up at the bottom of the deck anything else yeah it's like a it's a sweet surprise coming towards you as well virgo so anything i feel like anything coming through you're gonna definitely be checking that shit like tsa all right 
but um there might be some type of surprise romantic gesture coming towards you can we clarify this princess of cups please fair spirit can we clarify this princess of cups or it might be yeah can we clarify this princess of cups Woo. all right so huh, princess of cups i feel like virgo you guys are trying to open yourself up to a sweet surprise. Maybe you're in this energy of Princess of Cups, very dreamy, deep, sensual, um, romantic, um, right? Even a little, you know, I don't, yeah. But I feel like you guys are trying to attract this Queen of Pentacles energy. You are the Queen of Pentacles. This is you showing up. And I feel like all you want to attract are people that are like you, Virgo, with this world card. It's like you are calling on your options, your pick, and say, Spirit, this is what I want. Queen of Pentacles energy. Let's get a love oracle card to see where you guys at. What vibe are you in with the love oracle card? What vibe are Virgos in right now? What are they trying to call in? Because I know they want to they wanna call in what they are. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so we got you guys got Lena Dunham right now. Um, I'll show you the photo. Okay, the first quote for my singles, it says, everyone forgets you except you. So I feel like you are really riding for yourself right now, Virgo. I feel like you don't care about if anybody's riding for you. You are riding for yourself and making sure that you get the recognition and the victories that you deserve based off the work that you're putting in. You're just not accepting something for nothing like a, like a lot of other people tend to do. Saw 1515 when I said that. And you're looking for someone who's the same way, who doesn't want to hand out, who doesn't, who isn't um, on a bandwagon, somebody who's fucking, um, what do they call it, like, um cult people who need cosigns and all that you're like nah like you want somebody who's gonna ride for themselves like you ride for yourself because you know that they're gonna have that same energy right with you uh you're um and, and not just romantically like all your relationships uh the next quote for people in relationships are just getting out of relationships it says it's okay to play hide and seek by yourself so you're like having fun on your own virgo you're having fun by yourself and you want someone who can stand on their own as well and be um and be confident and secure in their own fucking energy right um and then the last uh quote it says don't be afraid of standing on the shoulders of your parents so i feel like you guys are really revisiting your root chakra literally in your past and healing your childhood and things like that and just i feel like if you guys have any passed away loved ones or your parents are still living i feel like you guys are looking to the things that your parents did and how they were because i feel like you're trying to figure out what you want so it's almost like you're looking at your parents and say what do i like that my parents did or how they were uh what do i not like so that it's almost like you guys use that as like a baseline right like your own parents and you're trying to adjust things accordingly right let's get a firm actions card and see what virgo's got going on with this deck Woo. Some flew right on out, okay? It says, I am determined and disciplined to finish what I start even when I do not feel like it. So I feel like you guys are trying to fight um, fight any type of depression, anything like that. Um, you just, you're not trying to get stuck in a slump or any kind of weird moods because I feel like you guys are learning that one, it's your past that gets you this way. That's why you're visiting. Uh, and also it's these people that are literally keep trying to hold on to their connection with you or connection. They feel like they had these soul ties, uh, right? You, the people are relying on that. Okay. That's all I have. I'll see you guys.